The Life and Sad Ending of Anthony Hopkins Anthony Hopkins was born Sir Philip Anthony Hopkins on 31 December 1937, in Marjum, Port Talbot, Glamorgan, Wales. Anthony Hopkins is the son of Richard Hopkins, a baker, and his wife Muriel Ann. Growing up he was very close to his grandfather. He was dyslexic. He liked to paint and play the piano but was not interested in his studies. His parents sent him to West Monmouth Boys School in 1949 to teach him some discipline. But he left the school after some months and continued his education at Cowbridge Grammar School. A chance meeting with Welsh actor Richard Burton made him realise his interest in acting, and he enrolled at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama in Cardiff. He graduated in 1957. He served in the British Army for two years and went to London where he attended the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He began his career in 1960 with the play Have a Cigarette, produced by the Palace Theatre, Swansea. The celebrated British actor Sir Laurence Olivier recognised the potential of the young man and took him as an understudy at the Royal National Theatre in 1965. He was having a successful time at the theater but soon got bored of the monotony. He desired to break into the world of television and films and acted in the televised broadcast of the play A Flea in Her Ear in 1967. He made his film debut as Richard the Lionheart in The Lion in Winter in 1968. The movie was a huge success. His performance got him noticed, and he received many movie offers. He appeared in three movies within the year 1969, The Looking Glass War, Hamlet, and Department S. He portrayed the soul-searching Pierre Bezukhov in the television drama series War and Peace based on Leo Tolstoy's novel of the same name. His performance earned him critical praise. He acted in several films over the 1970s, the notable among them being Audrey Rose and Magic. He had a very productive career in the 1980s as well and appeared in a number of movies playing award-winning roles in The Bunker, Mussolini and I, 1985, and 84 Charing Cross Road, 1987. In 1991, he portrayed the cannibalistic serial killer Hannibal Lecter in Jonathan Demme's Silence of the Lambs adapted from Thomas Harris' thriller novel of the same name. He won various awards for this role. He played James Stevens in the 1993 film, The Remains of the Day. The film was reviewed very positively and received several Academy Award nominations. He portrayed the U.S. President Richard Nixon in the 1995 biographical film, Nixon. The director Oliver Stone felt that Hopkins was the best person to play the role, and was proved right when the film got nominated for several prestigious awards. He acted in many other highly successful movies in the late 1990s, including Amistad, The Mask of Zorro, and Meet Joe Black. This prolific actor was already over 60 years of age by the dawn of the new millennium, yet he never showed any signs of slowing down. He reprised the role of Hannibal Lecter in Hannibal and Red Dragon. In 2005, he played the lead role in the biographical film, The World's Fastest Indian, based on the life of the New Zealand speed bike racer Burt Munro. The more recent films of the veteran actor include The Wolfman, The Right, and Hitchcock. He is critically acclaimed for his role of the cold-blooded serial killer Hannibal Lecter in the multiple Academy Award-winning film, The Silence of the Lambs. His character in the movie is considered the number one film villain of all times. In the 1993 biographical movie Shadowlands, he was appreciated for his sensitive and poignant portrayal of the Oxford academic C.S. Lewis. This film earned him the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. His award-winning portrayal of the New Zealand speed bike racer Burt Munro in the biographical movie, The World's Fastest Indian, is one of his personal favorites. 
He won the Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role for his portrayal of Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs in 1991. He was presented with the Cecil B. DeMille Award in 2006 for his outstanding contributions to the world of entertainment. Among various other awards, he also won three BAFTA Awards and two Emmy Awards. Is a person who has many problems in a love affair. Anthony Hopkins has gone through three marriages. He was previously married to Petronella Barker from 1966 to 1972. The couple has a daughter, Abigail. His second marriage was to Jennifer Linton in 1973. The marriage lasted for almost 30 years before breaking up in 2002. He is currently married to his third wife Stella Arayava whom he wed in 2003. He is a recovered alcoholic, Anthony Hopkins is 83 years old this year, his health is somewhat reduced due to erosion time. Wishing everyone good health.